Wonder Woman 795. That's right, folks. We have reached the return of Yara Fleur. It feels like it's been forever. I have read every Yara Fleur comic. She's a cool character. I love her to death. I think just recently there has been a collected edition of her Wonder Girl run that I have to pick up, and maybe I'll talk about it on the channel. She's a character I enjoy so much. And now she's in Wonder Woman. Remember when she was going to be the next big thing at DC, and then they're like, actually 5G and all that's not happening, so we're just going to push this book over here and have nothing happen with it. That pissed me off. But I love her completely. My favorite little lady in the world. She's so cool and fun. Adorable. She's here with Diana, fighting Eros, a guy that tried to mind control her, make her a slave for Apollo, and, and fight with the Olympians in a war coming up. And you're like, what? That's scary. But it's okay. She's back now to kick the shit out of him. And I love it. And that's how this book opens. It's Diana and Yara teaming up to fight Eros for a bit. I love it. He's saying stupid shit like he still loves her and all that stuff. And we're just like, shut up. None of it was real. You used your magic on me. The love was stupid. She starts beating him up. Everything's going well. Just great to see, It's just great to see Yara kicking this shit out of this piece of crap. We love it. Then Diana uses her lasso, ties him up. And they kind of get the truth revealed out of him. There is a moment where, like, there's an entire page dedicated to, like, the different names of the lasso. He calls it the Golden Perfect. And Yara's like, how many names does this thing have? It's like a name for every situation. And you're like, okay, what does that mean? Does that matter that we dwelled on that for so long? Maybe it'll come up later, but I'm wondering why. So as that's going on, Arrow's just like, oh, you want to learn the truth? I'll tell you the truth. On the streets below... The rest of our team, Cheetah, Steve, Etta, and Ziggy, are looking up as there's a bright light shining down the street. Oh no, it's a titan. It's Hyperion himself, the father of the sun, the moon, and dawn. Big, centurion-looking dude, blowing a trumpet that's shooting fire out of it, walking down the streets. And I'm like, yeah, this is, this is kind of what I've wanted. If we're doing a Wonder Woman team-up book, let's do it this way. So Steve's like, I have a really stupid plan. I'm going to lure him away from the crowd, but I'm going to need a sword to fight him. And Ziggy's like, ha ha, I thought you'd never ask. So the two himbos get on Minerva's bike and just speed down the road. We're inching closer and closer to them kissing. And I'm excited about it. Here's the thing. This book, I, I, I love so much that it's been doing this subtle thing. Not just this issue, but this issue makes it very prominent. The themes of bondage and romance in a Wonder Woman comic book. I know that's where the character kind of originates. We're really pushing it forward here. The Eros and Yara stuff, the Diana and Ziggy, the Diana and Steve stuff, and later on in the book we're going to see that emulate again. It's very fun. So while the men go off to do that thing, Minerva and Etta are kind of left to do damage control, keep people safe in the area. And this is where we kind of get, like, the big speech that's coming from Eros. Like, this is it, man. The gods are dying. We've been isolated for too long. Growing up on Atlantis, not doing anything. People have forgotten about us. So Paul does. She's got this great plan. The milk extra was an experiment. A shot of, just a shot of belief to convince the gods who doubted us, you know? We're doing it. We're doing it. We're going to control the people of Earth, baby. Everything's coming up, Apollida. I love her plan. My grandma's the best. Everything's sick. I'm so happy. We're working out great. So, instead of the Amazon's attack, it's Olympus attacks. And I'm like, okay. Okay, yeah. I, I can get on in on that shit. I, I like that. It's a fun idea to explore. So, he breaks through the lasso. Starts beating people up again. Kind of steps on Diana. And she's like, oh, I've handled worse than you, you tough big boy. Throws him out. And it's like, okay. Now the battle is taking itself out of here. They blast him through the temple. He's shooting through the sky, and as they are headed to find where Eros lands, that's when Diana sees Steve and Ziggy headed for Hyperion. And she's like, no, you guys, I'll fight him. Don't do this. And Steve's like, no, I got a plan. Trust me, it's a great plan. It's going to work. It's all going to be great. Ziggy's going to keep stabbing him a bit. And you see that Hyperion is one of the gods that Hippolyta has talked to. It's like, what were, what did, what were you promised? I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. I keep saying Hippolyta. I meant to say Hera. Hera is the god, she's the grandmother. I've just been like, yeah, that's my mistake, guys. I completely forgot it's Hera. I'm like, Hippolyta's still dead, technically, right? She's still kind of dead, or does she get resurrected? I can't remember, but it's Hera. Hera is the bad one. It's like, what did Hera promise you? And 
and Hyperion's like, well, she promised me, like, that mascara, like, all of you are gonna die. I'm like, that's pretty cool. I like that. I, I want to be a part of that. All you people dying. I like that. But, oh, no. Yara's on her own fighting arrows. What are we gonna do? It's like, you're not really my boyfriend. We weren't really dating, but I hate you. Our breakup was great. So she throws her ballas again. Cracks like the weird like stone that Eros is made out of. And he becomes a regular person in his weird armor. And it's like, okay. <laughs> you know, I would have liked to have done this entire thing with you at my side. Because I genuinely cared about you, Yara. I mean, you're a badass lady. You're pretty cool. Fires an arrow. It avoids her. But she's like, you miss. He's like, oh, did I miss? Did I miss? The arrow flings by Wonder Woman as well. Flies down past her, lands somewhere. We can't really see where it landed. But we also see that when it lands, Hera's voice emulates. It's like, all of you humans of the world, mankind has been broken. And you keep bringing yourself to the brink of extinction. And you're broken, but the gods, we can help you. We love you. We want to protect you. We just want to enslave your world. What's so wrong about that? You gotta trust us, babes. Come on. You gotta trust us gods. Where did the arrow go? Well, to humanity, of course. All of humanity. And what does that mean exactly? It means that all of humanity is now desperately in love with Diana. So we get an end page where we see... All of the people on the street that were next to Minerva and Etta are just climbing over themselves to get a just like get a grasp of Diana. And I'm like, that is that is a story I like because we just kind of had it in the previous arc where it's like men were drinking this milk because they hated Diana. Now it's like everybody loves her. It's a very cool concept. And it's again, that kind of like thing about like love, romance and sex in Wonder Woman books that should be apparent and should be a part of the narrative going forward forever. I really dig that. I think that's a really cool area to explore with this character. So, it's a love bomb. How's Diana going to handle it? I guess we'll find out next time on Wonder Woman. And I really do dig what this book did. One of these stronger issues, I, I don't particularly think the book needs to lean into like the gods and all that stuff for it to be well written. But this is how you do it. If you're going to do this story, and I know like a lot of writers are like, I want to have my stamp on the, the Olympic gods. This is how you do it. And having Yara back is always a treat. I love her to death. So, Wonder Woman 795. I am going to give an 8 out of 10. Now, thank you guys for watching this review. Be sure to like and subscribe to the channel. As always, you can check me out on Instagram, TikTok, and Hive. And I will catch you in the next one. Have fun. Stay safe. Good luck. Good luck.